Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. I want to talk to you about why use a bowling wrist support. Many of you have never tried one, and many of you really could benefit from using the right type of wrist support device. Okay? That being said, let's talk about it. Number one, a wrist support will help regulate the moment you release the bowling ball. It will help your thumb exit more consistently at the same time relative to your sliding foot so you get a consistent angle of entry and delivery uh, into the lane bed. Number two, the wrist support device will prevent the back of your wrist from uh, tilting or collapsing just prior to delivery of the bowling ball. The ball is heavy. People think they start out with their ball cupped up or in a straight hand position, but while you're swinging the ball, it's very difficult to keep the wrist from collapsing uh, unless you're really well practiced and you have real good technique. So if you're one of those kind of bowlers, a wrist support will help you. Uh, number three, limited wrist movement during your swing and delivery will help regulate the relationship again of your thumb exiting the bowling ball with respect to your bowling fingers. It's also important to understand your thumb should exit the ball slightly before your bowling fingers. So a wrist support will keep uh, propped up the back of your wrist and if you have an adjustable one, which I happen to prefer, you can dial it up to any degree of wrist hinge, tilt forward or back you desire depending on the, uh, the type of uh, revolutions you want on the ball and the type of uh, ball skid that you, you're looking for. So wrist support devices are very handy. Uh, typically the longer support structures behind the, the hand of some models will uh, limit the unneeded movement of your bowling wrist and fingers uh, as opposed to ones that are shorter maybe only go to the knuckles in the mid part of your hand. So you want to check those out. Do some experimentation will help you. Uh, getting your thumb out of the ball cleanly and quickly at the same relative uh, uh, spot in, in, in relation to your uh, bowling shoe uh, will lead to those consistent deliveries you want. You'll regulate your speed, you'll get a, a, a consistent skid length down the lane and that helps you uh, get a, a more of a dependable ball reaction. And finally, wrist support devices again are available in non and adjustable models. Uh, you can pinpoint the amount of wrist tilt you need by experimenting. So get to the pro shop, try a few on, uh, ask the pro shop operator if you can if he has a sample one that you might try on the lanes if you've never used one, you can find something uh, that isn't real cumbersome or uh, uncomfortable for you. Uh, the more you use it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. Give it a real good working test in practice sessions before you try it in competition. And uh, uh, you can also get a wrist liner that fits underneath it so you won't get a chafing or skin irritation on your hand if you're not used to wearing a wrist support device. Some of them, some of the wrist support devices even have removable lining pads that protect your skin and they're washable and replaceable. So you really need to look into this. It's a good investment if you need to beef up your release and make it more consistent. I hope some of these tips help. Thank you.